Are you taking your daily dose of the biblical languages? Shalom, I'm Doug, and I want to encourage you in the study of the biblical languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. And today I want to recommend a suite of resources that I've recommended on this channel before, and I'm happy to do so again. And today I want to do something a little different and have a whole episode dedicated to the Daily Dose channels. Now, the Daily Dose channels comprise Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic, but also Latin. Now, Latin is not one of the biblical languages, but it's also worth studying in its own right because of the influence of, for instance, the Latin Vulgate, uh, but also the witness to the text history and the interpretation of the text that's found in Latin uh, Bibles. But we want to focus, of course, uh, this channel primarily on the actual biblical languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, but all four of these channels are worth your time and uh, worth a look to see if they can help you. Now, the channels here that we're talking about have had a great influence in my own life. I've used all of them in different ways and at different times in my stages of studying languages, but they came along uh, for me at a very critical moment when I had given up study of the biblical languages. I walked away from them for about eight years, didn't think I could learn them after I had a very difficult experience with Hebrew and just thought that I would do something different. But I found out there were other ways to learn, and as I was preparing to enter back into formal study of the languages, I made heavy use of both daily dose of Greek and daily dose of Hebrew. And these were of great help, not just the daily videos they sent out, but the grammar lessons in particular helped get me a review the material that I needed to get back up to speed and to get prepared and also to even go a bit uh, further in my learning. And I found them to be helpful beyond uh, that uh, getting reacquainted and back into the biblical languages, but also for maintaining them as well. And I want to talk about ways that you can make use of these daily dose channels here. Now, these channels, the thing that they all do is have screencasts. Now, screencasts will display uh, the images, just the text of the scripture on the screen. So you'll see the words and the host will mark them up with color. And it's really amazing to see how effective a teaching tool that is because your focus is there on the text and you're seeing, but you're also hearing the description as you go. And these screencasts seem to have risen largely from a burden for helping language students recover because uh, many people will walk away from the languages after having studied them and completed programs in them and just not use them anymore. But uh, these hosts want people to get back to the study of the languages especially those in ministry, uh, but they also have a heart for helping people get introduced to them and to learn them. So let's talk about how they can be used to help you. And as you do, I'm recommending to you what I would call the very cream of the crop in terms of these electronic resources for a systematic and disciplined study of the text. So the first thing I would recommend on these sites would be the grammar lessons. So if you are going through a course and you want something to complement what you're learning, or if you're just looking to understand the grammar of one of these languages better, uh, these sites all will walk through uh, grammar for their language. In some case, something written by the host himself, and that's really valuable, and they break it down into bite-sized lessons so you can go through and learn step by step. So I highly recommend these, these grammar tabs, um, the, the, the learn tab on the daily dose sites, and it can be a good supplementary resource if you're a teacher as well. You could assign this, maybe even do a flipped classroom uh, using this sort of method and then do more hands-on practice and uh, analysis in class and so forth, depending on what you're doing uh, with uh, introducing the language, introducing the grammar, uh, doing um, exegesis and so forth. You've also got on these sites the daily videos. That's why it's called the daily dose of each of these, and they can be accessed via email. You can sign up and be on their, their list and have it sent out to you each day, each, each weekday, or you can go and you can select books of the Bible to go through where they have recordings, and you can use those for practice, for reinforcement. One thing I know that some people like to do is to work on the passage ahead of time, work on the verse that's gonna be in the video, and then maybe print it out or write it out by hand, go ahead and do some analysis on it, think through it, and then watch the video. Uh, that's one way to maximize the effect of these videos. But even if you just watch them every day, it's going to keep the language concepts and going, going to keep the scripture in the original language before you constantly. Another helpful feature on these sites is that you can explore uh, additional resources. They'll have some, some tabs for some recommendations for books and other resources, and they're vetted very carefully. And I certainly recommend checking out their recommendations. 
Uh, one more thing that the sites do pretty regularly, and you can see this in, in their channels, especially to check out their, their YouTube channels and so forth, is having a weekend edition. So these will tend to go longer than, say, the daily videos, but uh, they'll sometimes have interviews on these as well, or they'll announce uh, special things. Sometimes you can uh, you know, get a Christmas ornament <laughs> or, or other things uh, via the site. The hosts sometimes will have uh, interviews with other scholars, and that's extremely valuable as well. Now, related to the Daily Dose sites uh, is the conference that they have periodically. Every other year, they've been having a language conference. I went in 2017 to the minister in his Greek New Testament. Then 2019, they had the Greek and Hebrew for Life conference and began having that. I, I went to that in 2021, 2023 as well. These were huge in encouraging me as a biblical languages student. As I was going through a master's program, as I was going through a, a THM and then a PhD, uh, studying the languages as the, the main uh, activity that I was doing all that time, these were great. Their plenary sessions were so encouraging. Their workshops, the breakout sessions, incredibly helpful as well. And all along the way here, I, I'm working through and solidifying Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. And when the Aramaic channel came out, that was amazing to have uh, Dr. Scott Callahan walk through the entirety of the biblical Aramaic texts in Ezra and Daniel and uh, a little bit in Genesis and, and Jeremiah. And it was just a great uh, help for me to go through all of these things and to meet some of these people in person and to meet other language aficionados. And it was just, uh, just a very important part of my life and my educational journey, and I highly recommend the Daily Dose channels to you. And let me also mention that uh, the folks who are doing these, um, Jonathan Algren administrating these, uh, the different hosts, uh, Dr. Adam Howell uh, for the Hebrew, and, and before him, Dr. Mark Futado, and Dr. Rob Plummer uh, with the Greek, Dr. Scott Callahan with the Aramaic, Dr. Tyler Flat with the Latin. Um, I've had interactions with, with each of these, um, these men, and they are both scholars and gentlemen. We're talking about experts in the field, uh, but they're also people who love um, to share God's Word and help people learn the scriptures and the original languages and just have a heart for uh, being an assistance there. And they, they volunteer their time for these ministries. They do, of course, uh, have costs with the hosting of the website and the, the technology needed to record such things, of course, and there are ways at the site that you can see if you want to donate to them. But uh, I just couldn't commend the ministry of the Daily Dose channels any higher, and I recommend that you check them out. Make them part of your daily regimen of language study. If you're a student, if you're a teacher, a, a pastor, a minister who studied the languages, keep maintaining with them. And if you're if you're teaching others, you can use this as part of what you're doing. Whether it could it could form even a primary resource in some courses, or it could be a supplementary resource that you can make good use of. But however you use it, get your daily dose and consider using the Daily Dose channels to do that as you study the biblical languages.